got a small raised bed. It's about four feet by eight feet long, and I'm gonna be growing some corn. It's time to plant corn as soon as the weather warms up to 75 to 95 degrees on a consistent basis. And you're gonna select a site like this that gets all day sun because the corn needs it. When it comes to soil selection for corn, you've gotta be very picky. Corn is very hungry. It wants lots of nutrients from the grass family. So it needs a lot of nitrogen. So we filled this raised bed with an organic specialty soil called raised bed soil. The reason I selected it is because it has excellent drainage, it has lots of nutrients, and it has beneficial bacteria, which is a great thing because beneficial bacteria helps to pull nutrients from the soil and gather it to the roots of the plant so that it can just soak it right in. There's literally thousands of corn varieties. So what do you choose? There's white, yellow, bicolor, purple, black. There's popcorn. There's all kinds of corn. My recommendation is to select corn according to your growing season. Because corn can mature between 60 and 100 days within that very hot summer. If you've got a long season, you can select something that matures in 100. If you've got a short, go for those 60 day ones. And here's another tip. When you go to your garden center and you see a four inch pot like this with three corn plants, it's not a deal. Opt for a single corn plant. The reason is you can't plant this as is, you've got to separate it. The moment you separate these three corn plants, you've damaged the roots and it's hasta la vista. If you want your plant to be successfully pollinated, it's really important that you plant in a staggered block. So as you can see, we don't just have straight rows here all along. We've got it staggered. And this is gonna help with the wind and cross-pollination. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna start planting, guys. And I want everybody to grab your sure start. It's our starter fertilizer. Grab a little handful. And then wherever we have our plant, go ahead first, kind of dust the roots. Make your hole, make it deep enough so that your plant sits at the same level it was in its container. So you want to make sure it can stand. And let's just keep planting. After planting, make sure to water thoroughly. Your corn is going to need to be watered at least twice a week during the first week and while it's being established. But then when it starts to tassel and that whole process of pollination comes in, it needs to be watered at least two to three times a week. It needs lots of water. Make sure your soil never dries out. About three weeks in after planting, you're gonna want to add some natural nitrogen to your soil. So. I like blood meal. It's a really great organic source and it gives your corn all the nitrogen that it needs. So you've been tending to your corn all summer long and you wanna know, when do I get to harvest it? Well, check the label. If it's 60 or 100 days, check your corn at that time. Look for brown silk. Feel it? If it feels nice and plump, it's ready to harvest. So now you know how to plant corn. What do you think? Pretty easy? For tips like this and everything that's great under the sun, follow me and watch my series, Eden Makers, on Facebook and YouTube. See you next week.